Welcome back. The farm life wasn't anything for me. Oh my. You hear them? Almost sounds like they're in the back of my truck. Let's leave. Can't stay here. This truck also have quite nice engine sound. There's a Renault. With the steering wheel on the unfamiliar side. So I gotta take this into account when I'm driving. So I don't hit things on the the left side of the track is quite takes a while to get used to actually it may not seem like anything but it is I promise you so then we're heading for Grimsby with some dried milk Let's go. You see this um, interior, uh, the mirrors, I mean, uh, on this uh, truck is um, a bit different from what we've seen before. Because there's a middle mirror. That is quite useful when you have something close up in front of you as you might remember in a previous clip where I almost smashed into a car I couldn't see how close I was but with this car I could have seen how close I was it's a bit funny that we Get a British truck with the steering wheel on the right, right, right side, while we are having a speed in metric form. That is a bit strange, but whatever. I guess we can live with it. They have very nicely created um, different. Um, interiors and both uh, you see the speed limiter here is um, not the speed limiter but um, the speedometer is uh, totally different from what we've had in other cars the displays is very different quite nice small design details I think I like it And this car smells differently too. Can you feel it? I'm quite certain this is brand new. Brand new Renault. So Grimsby, here we come. Never been there. So that's gonna be nice. What's happening? I'm going straight, yes. That's what's happening. I might not be so good at reading signs. Uh, that is why I get confused now and then. And you see what I spoke about earlier. It's a bit hard to get used to sitting on this side of the track because I tend to slide over to the left because I'm used to keeping the track the steering wheel more on the left side of the of the lane. We're still going straight, yeah. But if I focus and on narrow spots it's no problem. It's okay.
the mirrors are a great help to see where where the truck is. If you see the mirrors now, I'm in between the lines. But you see, I'm still very much to the left as compared to what I usually am. So and that's not anything I do on purpose. It's automatic. happens even though I try to avoid it. Uh, so what's going on here? More slow going traffic. Some road construction. Yep. So I guess we are having... It's likely that there are speed traps here so... Better watch out. Loads of cranes and everything. Yeah. Nice sound effects too. <laughs> yes, we are speeding, I know. Jeez. That's annoying. Waste of money. this reckless in real life, happily, or else I would have been bankrupt. But those speeding signs are really hard for me to catch, I think. I really wonder where they are hiding them. I'm going to try to be more aware on upcom upcoming occasions. I saw it on the traffic, the other cars, going slow. I didn't. I slowed down a bit, but not enough. Nice countryside. There's a huge antenna over there, some kind. Or is it a pipe? You can't see so much out that way. There's some birds. Found your speed. Good, well done. There's loads of power lines everywhere. But that is probably just like in the real world. What's happening here? I'm actually in no hurry either, so there's no point in me blazing past them when there's risk of getting fined. Of course, it makes the videos f shorter, but well. wouldn't matter that much anyway. Um, let's see, I have five hours remaining on this delivery and it's estimated time of arrival is in one hour ten minutes. So I got a, an abundance of time to to use if I need. Here we go. This is different kind of ram. Here we're going up and across directly. So this is a 
tight curve. Got to be careful. Have we made it? Very well done. in English I call it a road fence it should be possible to understand what I mean here we go don't stop, don't stop, just go, just go, just go Oop, that was close <laughs> that wasn't ideal, but we made it. Country road. Country road, take me home. Strange hay balls they have here. Looks more like some kind of small houses. So far it's gone quite neatly regarding the left hand driving. I should probably have said that because it's, I'm gonna soon I'm gonna screw up screw up soon enough. Let's just take caution. Small gas stations here and you just recklessly drive out in front of this big truck crazy man oh there is a factory of some kind getting a heart attack. That noise is loud. And that was probably caused by the steering wheel on the right side. Because if I have had a steering wheel on the other side, I would have controlled that much better. Hey, what are you doing? Jesus. 
Well, that was that was uncalled for, wasn't it? I highly doubt they survived. Man. Did I do anything wrong there? I don't think so. Whatever. We have a delivery, so we gotta go on. I hope you survived. <laughs> well, that was kind of shocking. Nasty stuff. should have implemented a, an ambulance and police and lots of stuff happening whenever you collide if it was a, if, if it was even possible to simulate and, uh, and uh, make that realistic but it would of course be boring to just hang there waiting then, if it was this that realistic, you would you do all in your power to avoid such situations. So, perhaps it would make the game even more fun. Who knows? But I guess this cost us a little bit of a repair. Let's see now. Here you can see in the the mirror I spoke of how close I am to the truck ahead. a little bit yeah well it should be possible to see there what what that mirror shows so here we go so we had to get to Britain to get into some serious trouble so well, that's the biggest mistake so far. One family crushed. Or perhaps it was just a loner. He drove the same car as I do, so I suppose it was a loner. Here, I cannot just rush in because there was this sign. It was a funny way it had chosen for me to drive the route advisor. It wasn't very clever here, I think. It would have been easier to go around the block. It says, give way, yeah, um, perhaps that's what I didn't do when I crashed into that Mondeo, but I didn't see that sign and it was on a quick high speed road, so it wouldn't make sense if I should give way there. Whatever, it's in the past, we can't do it over. So, here we are in Grimsby with our dried milk. Excellent! Um, I see. It seems those goods was not affected by that um, nasty crash we had. Dried milk is hard to crush. So... It probably doesn't matter on our feet. That was good. That was good. If we had been driving with uh, ceramics or something, it would probably have cost a bit. This was was excellent anyway, and we leveled up. So let's go for as I'm into the subject, fragile cargo. Hehe. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. Then. Uh, to our next job um, I just thought I should 
make a change in the way I do this because I think I will stop here and first time I start the next clip I will pick the job so uh, the journey feels more like one thing uh, so from now on out I will save the game at this point and pick the job just after I start off the next clip so that's all for now. Thanks for watching folks. Bye bye.